And what do you think ultimately led to the end of WCW? Um, I believe, you know, my thought in this just, it just got out, the, the guys, I think, were allowed to get out of hand with, first of all, oh, the money just got crazy. Um, there was, guys were coming up with contracts and if anybody else came in with, got more money than they did, then their contract went. I mean, you can only, you can only dip in the well so many times and I just think the guys were allowed a situation and then like anything else in the business with the boys, mm -hmm. you give them an inch, they're going to take a mile and I think they just, you know, it's just, I, th I think they started taking over the hen house and, and you, you can't, you know, I know Turner had a bunch of money, but once uh, things started to get out of control, I mean, we were making money and the business was good and everything else, but it, 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 um, it got to the point where it wasn't Eric, Eric's company. It was Ted's, and Ted lost controlling interest, and then once that happened, it just went down. You know, that was the... I, I think ultimately, I think we could have still... If Ted would have kept control, because... I don't know do you, I don't know if anybody's ever... There's a story... I don't, this might be offline, but... Ted Turner and his father were from Charlotte, North Carolina. They had a sign company. Well, Ted's father uh, shot himself, and so the sign company was left to Ted. So Ted had his sign company, but he always wanted a public broadcasting TV company. Well, um, he bought one in Charlotte, and he went on the air one day and said, "If everybody will send me a dollar, I can keep you know keep the show going." Well, Crockett seen that interview, so Crockett approached him about putting wrestling on his show to draw revenue and do advertising. Well. Match made in heaven. We do now. We're doing tape TV shows on Ted Turner's TV. Well, then Ted takes it to the next level and goes to Atlanta and starts the Weather Channel and CNN. Well, um, the Crockett's uh, got to a point where they got out of control with the money and everything and had to sell. Well, Ted bought it. He came back and bought it. And when he brought us, when he bought it, he brought us in and said, "You guys helped me out at the time." I'll always stand by Russell no matter what. I sign your checks. You never got to worry about, you know, there'll always be wrestling as long as I'm here and I'm in control. So that was kind of the backdrop for going to WCW. But the problem was is, you know, when you get a board and you get other people, they didn't understand the business. And then, you know, in 2000, he lost controlling interest. And then, you know, that was the beginning of the end. You know, and did you still have time left on your contract? Yeah, I still, my brother and I still had a year left on our contract, so you know, we were finished in 2001. Yeah. Uh, we tried, I tried to, or we, I did like three years of Japan wrestling, and then my brother went up to Vince and went, had another run with that. And, um, you know, it would have been nice to get another three years. Mandalay Bay was supposed to be the one that was supposed to come in and buy it. Um, you know, I don't know the particulars or anything, but it just never, never came to fruition.